Okay, this is one video that's going to help us prepare for our midterm that covers some basic probability. So in this video, we're going to do a real quick rundown of conditional probability, independence, uh, or probability, and and probability. So here's the chart that I want to use. You're going to see a chart like this come up quite a few times on your midterm. So here's the idea, right? Basic two-way table. So where was the beverage purchase in the cafeteria vending machine, the main entrance vending machine, or the gym vending machine, and what type of beverage was purchased, soda, juice, or water? So I can ask you some very basic questions, like what's the probability that soda was purchased? Well, that's going to be very easy. 71 sodas were purchased out of 183 total different things purchased. So very, very simple. What's the probability that somebody went to the cafeteria to use the vending machine? Well, 90 people went to the cafeteria out of 183. I could say, what's the probability that somebody went to the cafeteria or, and remember I could use that U for or, or got a soda. Now, this means that anybody that went to the cafeteria or got a soda is going to make me happy. So I got to think, okay, caf um, cafeteria, 90 out of 183 students went to the cafeteria to get the vending machine. Plus, well, 71 students out of 183 bought a soda. But wait a minute, 22 students did both. 22 students were counted twice, so I do want to subtract those 22 out of 183 students away. That way they deserve to be counted, but again, as I've said many times, they don't deserve to be counted twice. So that gives me a grand total of 139 out of 183. Very, very simple. Another one I could do is an and. I could say, what's the probability of getting a soda and a juice? Well, that's actually pretty easy because these are two mutually exclusive events. They cannot happen at the same time. Soda and juice is not possible. You could be soda, you could have juice, but you cannot have both. So that would be zero. What about the probability that you buy your um, beverage in the gym and it's a water. Okay, now this is possible. This would be the 19 out of 183 students that bought water and they used the vending machine in the gym. Now, I did not multiply to get that. I just looked in the chart. You do not need multiplication for and if you're just talking about choosing one student that did both items, bought water and used the gym vending machine. Okay, next up we could do some conditional probabilities. I'm going to grab a different color here. So a conditional probability would be, what's the probability you bought a soda on the condition you used the gym? Okay, now, the idea here is I'm going to use my conditional probability formula. On top goes soda and gym. Soda and gym. 41 students out of 183 were soda and gym. The denominator is just the gym. 71 students out of 183 use the gym vending machine. And through the magic that is mathematics, those 183s cancel, and you get 41 out of 71. The idea is that the condition is I must have been in the gym vending machine. So that means I'm only allowed to look at the 71 kids who use the gym vending machine, of which 41 bought soda. So 41 out of 71. Now, the next thing I want to address is how to check for um, independence. Okay? Now I'm going to use another color one more time here. I'm going to use yellow. The idea of independence is checking does the probability of A equal the probability of A given that B occurs? I want to see does B affect A? If these two things are equal, if these two probabilities are equal, then that shows that B does not affect A. Now, do you have to pick a particular one? No. So I'm going to do time. I'm going to pick soda. So I want to find the probability of buying soda. And then I want to find the probability of buying soda given. Now, I can't pick another beverage because those are obviously mutually exclusive. I need to now pick a location. And again, it's up to you. You can pick any location. So I'm going to pick the gym. Okay, now what's the probability that you pick a soda? What's the probability a student buys soda? Well, that was right here. 71 out of 183 kids buy soda. 71 out of 183 is 0 0.3879. Actually, it would round to 0 0.3880. So 0 0.3880. Now, what about the probability that you get a soda from the gym? 
Well, that was, again, conditional probability that we already figured out over here. Of the 71 um, pop cans, or the 71 beverages sold in the gym, 41 were soda. So 41 out of 71 is 0 .5775. 0.5775. Now, these are not equal. This tells me that they are not independent. What I just discovered in words is that if you use the gym vending machine, you are far more likely to purchase soda. Look at that. From the gym vending machine, 57% of cans were soda. From everybody, only 38.8% were soda. So something about that gym vending machine does increase the chance of soda being purchased. It's not my job to figure out what it is, but it is very clear that the gym does make soda more likely, which shows that these two variables are definitely connected. So there's a quick review prob uh, on probability, just basic probability, nice and simple.